Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I just wanna give you a daily vlog update on what did I learn today and what might help you guys out. So today's lesson is about using data sheets when testing components. Now what happened is I have this guy right here. You can see it's a pinch valve for a coblator. And the unit is basically a large solenoid and on the inside, it's just uh, a through card. So the signal comes in here and it activates this guy. But anyway, they say that there's a problem with this device. As you can tell, there's not very much that can go wrong inside this unit. So how do you test something like this? Well, at first I went over to my regulated DC power supply. I set the current to uh, 0.6 of an amp because since it's a coil, it's a dead short and you don't want it to catch fire if it's uh, too much current. So I set the current to 0.6 and then I unhooked my leads and I set the voltage to six volts. And I set for six volts because a lot of solenoids, you know, I don't know if it's 12 or 24 volts or if it's five volts, could be a five volt coil, I don't know. I was estimating around 12. So I first set it for six volts and current of 0.6 amps. And believe it or not, um, I got a little bit of arky spark and nothing happened. That's it. You could tell that it was pulling some current. Nothing was happening. And let's see if I can show you guys. You can see it's made by Arco and it's model 955V. So what I did is I looked it up online it's the model 955 solenoid pinch valve and it gives you the wattage but let's go down here on the data sheet when it gives you the physical and electrical traits of the device you can see over here it handles 12 to 48 volts well if you guys remember in your electronics education the lower the voltage the higher the amperage and since it can go all the way up to 48 volts, then I am perfectly fine with kicking it all the way up to 30 on my um, regulated DC power supply. So that's exactly what I did. I turned it all the way up to 30 volts at 0.6 of an amp. And sure enough, the little solenoid here clickety-clacked perfectly. In fact, it's, it's a very brutish uh, click because it's got a heavy spring inside there to help squeeze it and pinch close the uh, irrigation line. So anyway, uh, that is basically it. If I wasn't using the data sheet to help troubleshoot this guy, I would have never, 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 never turned up the voltage that high on a coil because more than likely it'll catch fire and break. And I didn't want that to happen. So that's your lesson for the day. If you want to troubleshoot an individual component, look up the data sheet first and find out its electrical traits, and then you can more properly troubleshoot. There you go, guys. Use the data sheet.